What's up guys, it's Will back again, and today's review is The Last of Us Part 2 trailer that dropped Saturday afternoon sometime. Now those of you that have watched my video entitled My Experience with The Last of Us, where I review the game and explain how much I love basically everything about it, already know that The Last of Us is not just my favorite video game, but my favorite piece of entertainment of all time. If you want more details about my emotional experiences with the game, then check out that video right here. So Saturday afternoon, I was just sitting at my parents' house, minding my own business, and I randomly loaded up Facebook and I saw a post from GameSpot about a trailer for The Last of Us Part 2. I was like, holy shit, this cannot be real. I had been hearing rumors that Naughty Dog might release a Last of Us 2 trailer at PSX, but I took a I'll believe it when I see it approach because I didn't want to get my hopes up. Well, this trailer delivered everything that I wanted to see and more. The second that Firefly logo pops up on the stop sign and the crowd goes wild, I just lost it. At first, I didn't even check how long the trailer was because I just clicked it so fast because I was so excited and I thought that was all we'd get. But then we get to see Ellie around age 19 or so, roughly four years after the concluding events of the first game, and she has some shaky hands while playing guitar and singing Sean James song entitled Through the Valley that Joel likely taught her. Because if you remember the sequence in the first game, as you're nearing the Firefly Hospital in Salt Lake City, Joel tells Ellie that he wants to teach her how to play guitar once this whole thing is done. And I bet most of you can remember that concept art that surfaced online a while back that showed a teenage Ellie playing guitar with some soldiers, likely fireflies, in the back. Background. But I'm pretty positive that the four or so years in between the end of the first game and start of the second will be shown in some way via a montage or something that gives us some insight into our protagonist's evolving relationship. But back to the trailer, Joel walks in this house and calmly strolls right by these men that Ellie killed and then asks her, what are you doing kiddo? As Ellie looks depressed and then he asks her, are you really going to go through with this? Where Ellie soon after replies to Joel that she's going to find and kill them all. Now I'm sure every single one of you that have watched this trailer and played the first game probably came up with the theory that Joel is dead and Ellie is imagining him standing there. And that's one of the reasons why I think that's definitely not the case. I just don't think this is Naughty Dog style, first of all. While they definitely want Ellie to take the lead in this one, creative director Neil Druckmann has repeatedly said that The Last of Us is Joel and Ellie's story. He even said at PSX that he kept coming back to them because every story without them just didn't feel right. While I do believe that Joel will likely die at some point in this story, it won't be early on because while The Last of Us is a survival horror, horror game, it's not really about zombies or warfare, it's about human relationships. What made the first game so compelling was Joel and Ellie's evolving relationship and that's what hooks you emotionally. To just dump that in the first 10 minutes of part 2 would be a big disservice to the characters and I completely trust Naughty Dog to not do that. What we're likely seeing in this trailer is a Joel that's been domesticated for lack of a better term. He may have had a relaxed 4 years or so where he just serves as a father figure to Ellie and now that Ellie is going on this murderous crusade against the fireflies for whatever reason reason, Joel wants to make sure that she really wants to take this all the way. Whatever happened to make Ellie this enraged obviously was pretty awful. I don't think it was Joel's death, but it has to be something that really rubbed her the wrong way. Maybe Joel has continued to lie to her and told her that the Fireflies mutinied Marlene and they brutally murdered her in the hospital, and since Ellie had a connection with Marlene, this caused her to want to avenge her death. And that's why Joel asked her does she really want to go through with this, like he'll help her but only if she's 100% sure she wants to go on this murderous rampage. Because Neil Druckmann said the first game was about love, and this one is about hate, so Ellie is full of hate this time around, obviously. Or who knows, maybe the Fireflies raided their home and killed Tommy and a bunch of the others, and in four years' time, Ellie has become quite fond of them all, so this really pisses her off. That wouldn't necessarily explain why Joel says you instead of we, but maybe he's just beginning to let Ellie make her own decisions instead of like the first game where he made the decisions for both of them. But transitioning to another topic, I don't know how you guys felt about the graphics in this trailer, but I thought they were absolutely amazing. Amazing. The level of detail that Naughty Dog puts into their games is just so great. From the environments that have become synonymous with The Last of Us world, to the characters themselves, their work just leaves me amazed at how realistic it looks every single time. Another aspect that made the first game so great was the music composed by Gustavo Santaolalla, and Neil Druckmann confirmed that Gustavo Santaolalla will be back to compose the music for part 2 as well. This is great, great news, because I couldn't imagine another composer stepping in and filling his shoes. His soundtrack. I actually still listen to pretty frequently, and I feel crazy emotions as the songs take me back to the various moments in the game. So glad he's back for part two. So when will we see The Last of Us part two? Well, it's really difficult to say because while Naughty Dog does have a general idea,
idea, they don't want to tell us then miss the deadline and get our hopes up. If I had to guess, I'd say sometime in 2018, probably summer or fall. I've heard some predict 2019, but I think it'll be done sooner than that. So I'd bank on sometime in 2018, considering they've already been working on it for the last two years off and on between Uncharted 4, so. But overall, this trailer was absolutely amazing. I think it had amazing visuals, fantastic music, great acting performances, and a perfectly vague reintroduction to our beloved characters. And obviously there was nothing I didn't like about this trailer. I'm gonna give The Last of Us Part 2 trailer a 10 out of 10, and recommend that you go watch this one ASAP if you haven't already. So did you guys watch The Last of Us Part 2 trailer yet? What did you think of it? What are your theories for what will happen in the actual game? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if not, let me know whether you're interested in playing this game or not. Please say yes. And as always, if you like this video, click that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for much more content like this. That's all for now though. This is Will Fox of Vacation signing off. See you in the next review.